Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and I certainly hope you're having a fine day. Exactly and precisely what this movie follows about is vaping. You know, that alternative to death stick smoking? You know, like these things right here? Now, this is, now let me get something straight right off the get-go. I'm a newbie to vaping. But I'm going to take you through a, a process of my, my system. You can do whatever you want to do, but I'm going to show you what my setup is, is an alternative to these conspiracy-filled cancer sticks. You're going to get cancer, you're going to get a heart attack, and you're going to die. That's what this says. Now, if you agree with me, fine. And if I screw up my wording, that's fine, too. Because I just do these YouTube videos for fun and really don't get it to give a damn. I mean, don't take that personal. Let's get on to this. Very well, Ed. When I told you folks that I was a newbie to this vaping business, I wasn't kidding. This right here is a kit that I bought from www.misthub.com. And I haven't even taken the kit out of the box yet, but one of the first things I've got to do is charge up a set of batteries because the vaporizer works on these two special batteries, and I'll be showing you that. So i got to get on to charging up batteries first thing, and I'll be trying to show you as much as I can, but keep this movie file just a short very well then, moving on to this charger and these batteries, let me hold this up so you can see this, but I hope you can see it anyway. These batteries are an IMR18650, and they're 3100 milliamps, I do believe, at 3.7 volts, and they're an LI slash M battery. Okay, let me hold that up. And, well, maybe you can see the little box that they come in just a little bit better if I can hold this still enough. Okay, there you are with that. Okay, moving on to this charger. You can see this charger right here. Uh, basically speaking, this is a night core digi charger, but I do believe you can see it a lot better if I hold the box up. Hold it up there for a second. Yeah, you just add these, and if you want to know what the size of these batteries are, they're about twice the size of uh, uh, AA batteries. So let me get on to charging these up, or I won't be vaping without this. <laughs> Very well, I might as well fill this bit of information in there while I'm waiting for those batteries to charge up. First of all, I didn't become an expert. Like I say, I'm a newbie. I wouldn't know anything about vaping if it wouldn't have been for my younger brother who is very well researched and very well knowledgeable on this subject. Okay, I wanted to make sure I got that out, <laughs> out in the open. But what he selected for me, because I let him do most decision decision making, was a Kanger, K-A-N-G-E-R Tech, Kanger Tech sub box mini starter kit. And this has the tank and the mod, the electronics, in other words, inside here. I'm not ready to, to break into this box yet, but I just it comes very well packaged. I'll be getting into that here in a minute, but I just thought I'd show you that. Very, very nice packaging on a lot of this stuff, by the way. Oh, and by, before I forget, that charger does have a digital interface. It's got a little screen that tells you exactly what those batteries are doing. And I forgot to add that that charger can charge up all kinds of batteries. And it was relatively cheap there at, at uh, Miss Tub. I think I only paid $23 and some change for it. So Now, the, uh, okay, you need those batteries. You need a charger. You need a starter kit. And there's several other name brands uh, other than Kangertac. But you're going to need this stuff called e-juice. I am not going to devote a whole lot of time. You can actually make your own e-juice. Some of it's way more expensive than other stuff. But what I'm going to be dealing with, what my choice was, was this stuff right here called Mystique. And this came in, this was pretty expensive. I think I paid $20 
for uh, 30 milliliters. But let me tell you what, if you do compare any kind of comparison compared to cigarette smoking, lung sp- spike smoking, you're going to find out that vaping is one heck of a lot cheaper. Okay. This particular stuff here, like I say, it's called Mystique, and it's hyper-ion. It came with some pretty fancy uh, paperwork, if you will, there, but I thought I'd show you that for a second. But, yes, you can actually make your own e-juice, but I haven't got that far yet. What this particular stuff is here, this Mystique, is tobacco flavored because they make all kinds of different flavors, all kinds of nicotine levels, Etc. Etc. You know, uh, what do they call it? VG values and EG values and all that. And there's a there's a lot of forums that are springing up on the internet that can help newbies like myself. But because I confided in my little brother, I didn't really have to do a whole lot of research. He did it for me. <laughs> Come on, that's supposed to be funny, you know. But I just thought I'd reiterate the fact that you're going to need e-juice and you're going to need a starter kit. And I picked a Kanger Tech sub-mini box. So that's all there is to this part of the file. Okay, on this next segment here, right off the bat, so I don't have to script this in, this is where I bought all this fun stuff at, right there. This is the card that came with, so take note of that or... Pause the movie file. <laughs> that way I don't have to, you know, do all that scripting in the text and what have you. Okay. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, those batteries are still charging. It's been four hours. This movie's actually turned out to be a long-winded thing, but I'm trying to make it as short as I can. Okay, here's this Kangor tank. Kangor tank. Right here. Okay, I'm going to take some confusion out of this mess right off the get-go. This is where you have to put your e-juice. Okay, the the stock or the already installed uh, coil, just leave it in there. <laughs> because what it is, they give you a smaller coil, and then they give you a rebuildable coil. And that rebuildable coil, coil is called an RBA and the coil that comes in here is an OCC coil, and then they give you a smaller OCC coil. Now, right here, I realize this don't mean a hell of beans, but this is the rebuildable PBA coil, and I actually tore this thing all apart, and I built a wick and put it in there, and et cetera, et cetera, but... It's kind of nice to know that you've got a rebuildable coil like this, you know. And also, the stuff that you see over here is most of the stuff came out of that that uh, sub mini box kit. Okay, here's the smaller OCC coil that I decided not to put in this tank. Okay, but. Just know, because it handles lower wattage. As a matter of fact, I got a note here. It's uh, it, it handles wattage from just 10 watts to 26 watts. And uh, the stock one handles 15 watts to 60 watts, the ones that come with that tank. Okay. Now, basically speaking, when you screw this, when you take this tank apart, this part of the tank is the airflow, okay? It's got a really nifty airflow uh, set up on it, but what you want to do is screw this tank apart at the bottom, you know, where this airflow is at. Now, I'm not going to do this on camera, but what I have to do, okay, there's that, that OCC bigger coil set up that I was telling you about right there. But what you do is you turn this, you got to turn this tank around and right where this mouthpiece is right here, when you put your e-juice in there, if you can see that tube running up the middle, you can't fill it past the top of that tube or you'll just be running right down your 
you know, right down where you exha exhale your vapor. In other words, you'll, be, you'll just be throwing e-juice on the floor, okay? And then the other most important thing to know is the simple fact of the matter is, is right there on the end and on those sides right there, you have got to prime this wick. Did you hear me? You've got to put a few drops of e-juice and prime that wick. You cannot dry fire these wicks. Okay, but just save yourself a lot of time, and just for the time being, as a beginner, that's what I'm thinking anyway, just leave this doggone stock OCC coil set up in here. And I'll, I'll, I'll prime this, but I'm, I'm going to do it off camera in case I have an accident. And of course, you prime it with the e-juice that you've already seen. Okay, I wanted to make sure I got that coil business straightened around. So what it is, is with that kit comes one RBA setup and two OCC setups. And the bigger wattage OCC coil is what's already in the tank. Okay, it's as simple as that. And the main other thing, I guess, and I know I said this before, but when you unscrew this, you want to unscrew it down here at the bottom where the airflow is. Don't do not do it any other way because it's just not the right way to do things. And basically, that, that RBA coil, you this is pure Japanese cotton, and this is what you got to use, and this comes with, this is what you got to do to wick up that, that particular coil because it doesn't come with uh, cotton in it. The other, the, o, the two OCC ones do. Okay. And also in the kit, you get a mini, a sub mini USB connection to regular USB so that you can plug the unit, the K box, the mod, into, a, into your computer per se and continue to vape. But as I was reading through the little booklet and whatnot, have you, you, you can't vape at a real high wattage, but for right now, that doesn't matter. And, and they give you a little tool kit, but this little tool kit right here is mostly for rebuilding that, that RBC coil setup that I just showed you. And, of course, you get this little Mickey Mouse instruction book, booklet, and it's, it's a little thin when it comes to certain things, but... If you go to them forums and whatnot, have you, you'll catch right on. In other words, don't overthink th this particular Kang uh, Kanger uh, Tech uh, mini box, whatever you do. Don't overthink it. Okay. And so, and then here's the electronic or the K box. I'm not quite ready for that yet, but you, right there is where you're going to screw that tank into. And this has got adjustable wattage on it and all that fun stuff. And then, by the way, while I'm thinking about while I'm waiting for these batteries to charge, this just takes one battery. But those are very special batteries. They're high-firing batteries. Uh, you know, well, they have to be to run some kind of a unit like this. You know, they have to be able to put out a lot of electricity in a very short amount of time I guess you could state it that way and that's basically all there is to it so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna prime that tank and make sure that you moisten with e-juice that wick you cannot dry fire those wicks okay and uh, to make doggone sure I'll pull this RBA out here, but you can see the wick literally in the bottom. This is that rebuildable one, rebuildable one, and you can see that little cotton hole right there, or that hole with the cotton in it, I should say. <laughs> this has been a long night. There's one on the other side right there, but you have to put a few drops on on these. I just call them heads, or otherwise, it's just you'll you'll you'll. you'll You'll end up with a bad vapor. Let's just put it that way. Okay. So that's all there is to this little part of my file, and we'll move right along, and pretty soon I'll get this thing going, okay? Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Basically, the moment of truth for me. <laughs> anyway, this unit, 
this box, this K box, this mod only takes one of these batteries. By the way, it took five hours to charge these batteries. And let me make sure I get this right, the minus and everything, but put that battery in there like that. And basically, which is kind of nice of Kanger Tech, they got a this is a magnetic closure right there. I hope you can see that. Okay, this has got juice in it. Now the only other thing we got kids got to do is take this tank, and I might want to kind of slowly turn this so you can see it's primed. It's got the juice in it, and especially those wicks being primed. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to screw the tank right into the mod. And that's another thing. Glad I thought of this. Make sure on all of these parts, I don't care if you're dealing with the tank, what you're dealing with, that you don't over tighten. Just barely finger tight on almost all this stuff when it comes to this particular Kanger Tech vaporizer. No over tightening. Okay, now I've got my airflow for my first demonstration. And when I say first, this is exactly what I mean. I have never had one puff out of this thing. Not a one, not a test puff or nothing. But I'm going to turn this on. I've got the airflow set at about mid-bore, okay? So I'm going to turn this unit on. They say you got to hit this button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's setting up on 50 watts, which is way too high. For my first initial try, I see those two little tiny buttons on your right hand side there, those red ones? That takes the wattage up and down, okay? I want to drop down to about 15 watts starting out here, okay? Yeah, I'm setting at 35, 30, 25, uh, 17. 16, okay, there's exactly 15 watts. All right, now let me see if I can get some draw out of this thing. My very first hit on a professional vaping setup. That was kind of nice. I'm not quite sure if you're supposed to keep that red button pushed in or not. You're going to have to bear with me, folks. Like I say, I'm a beginner at this. Yep, you got to take that fire button and hold her down. Now, I realize that wasn't very much smoke, but I got to warn you beginners out there, watch out for this deal like my brother warned me of, of Nick Sick. Basically speaking, if you keep your wattage down and your airflow down, you'll get, you know, less nicotine. But if you turn that wattage way up and you, uh, if you turn the wattage way up and and you open up that airflow, say, wide open, you're, you're going to get the biggest hit. And in the world of vaping, you got what they call mouth-to-lung hits. That's just kind of Mickey Mouse and it, <laughs> Mickey Mouse and it, so to speak. And then you got direct lung hits. So there you are. But let's, let's turn this thing up because that wasn't a very good demonstration. Okay. I'm going to take this wattage up to, say, I'll take her up to 25. And then I'll go ahead and take this airflow. I realize that you're not seeing much here, but trust me, you just, it's got a real nice setup for this airflow. And I'll go ahead and open up this airflow wide open. You can probably see that slot right there. It's just a dial. 
It's got like a wide open slot, a medium sized hole, and a small hole. And I think you can shut the air pole completely down. Let's try another hit. Man, that's not bad. I think I, I thought I was going to be coughing my brains out. So there you are. The reason why I'm blowing sideways, ladies and gentlemen, is I've been an internet broadcaster and I've been around the internet for a long time and I've seen a lot of people blowing smoke in people's faces. And not only that, but blowing smoke up their rear end, excuse me. But I've pretty much seen it all when it comes to this junk. Let's do this again. Yeah, my brother takes me. tells me it's going to take me a while for my lungs to heal up from lung spikes. In other words, meaning these damn things. Now listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. You may laugh about this. I don't care what you do. But there is a real conspiracy with regular tobacco processed cigarettes. I mean, if you and I could have all the money that was generated... In taxes, in, in, in just the medical field to take care of people that's got lung disease and whatnot out for, for cigarette smoking, including patches, nicky gum, nicotine gum, and, and not only the cost. Now, look, l- let me make a real point here. These, these are organic American Indian cigarettes, okay? These are very expensive cigarettes, the ones I'm trying to give up, which I'm going to give up. These are over $7. I didn't stumble with my words. $7 a pack. And the my wife quit smoking about a month ago. God bless her. And I'm bound determined to quit these things. I'm just going to be honest so that somebody out there realizes what I was trying to do. The combination of her habit, but mostly my expense, was over $400 a month. I'm going to repeat myself, $400 a month, you make a car payment for that. You know, all of that stuff, and, and, and that's another thing while I'm thinking about it. The politicians, they really don't want this vaping stuff to catch on. And the big tobacco companies are fighting tooth and toenail. So I, I really seriously hope you take into consideration everything that I've been trying to do in this video. I know I got a lot more long-winded than what probably was necessary. I tried to do the best job that I could, but, you know, that's what this is all about, ladies and gentlemen, is your health and my health. Because it's a proven fact. You know, these conspiracy sticks, these death sticks, these lung spikes, whatever you want to call them, causes birth defects, causes strokes in people, causes high blood pressure, causes cancer of the lungs, heart attacks, if I didn't say that, and just on and on and on. It is a multi-billion dollar business. And guess what? This money's getting circulated and whatnot have you on the count of your health. So it's up to you if you want to use this alternative method of vaping to try to kick cigarettes once in a while. But I just know that my little brother who tutored and tutored and tutored me for about two or three weeks, this isn't complicated, by the way, gave me a 1 million percent chance that I was going to be able to lay down lung spikes once and for all by simply vaping. Let's try this again. Now, I think I'm going to like this mystique, you know. By the way, all kinds of different levels of nicotine out there in that e-juice, all kinds of flavors, just shop around. They got the stuff on Amazon I, I'm going to try to dig up a forum that you folks, whoever watches video, can go join or look at, and you're going to see testimony by the thousands. Why? Because I have, where people have been able to quit smoking communistic cigarettes, you know, just by take, taking up vaping. And as you can see, this isn't a very big unit, and while I'm at it, 
be kind of careful and don't drop that because that's a Pyrex tank that's on there, but these are very well-built units, and I can tell I'm going to get along with this just fine. Matter of fact, I'm going to build me a leather scabbard for this thing. So there you are. Let's have another puff or two together. What do you think? I'm just kind of mouthing this thing because I, you know, <laughs> my lungs are kind of gooped up from regular cigarettes and my little brothers assured me it's going to take me a while to clear up. But this is the reason why you got to be able to adjust your wattage and also pick out the e-juice that you like and the airflow and whatever have you because, like I say, be careful of this thing called Nick Sick. So there you are. I realize that those are not very good hits there, but it gives you a pretty good example. I've got this thing set down 25 watts, and I do have the airflow wide open, but I've seen people on the Internet get just billows and billows of smoke. I'm really not after that. What I'm after is to finally, once and for all, quit, you know, lung spikes, quit dying because of cigarettes, uh, you know, lying in somebody else's pocket while I'm killing myself and getting broke at the same time. Okay. One more puff. Yeah. I don't know how good that was, but so be it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of this file. I put a lot of work into this, a lot of studying, and I have to... Thank you there, Daryl. You know who I'm talking about. The fellow, my younger brother, who helped me the very most with this. And so take what little knowledge you got from me and put it to use. Okay, my friends, adios, be healthy, and have a nice day.